Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting talking about Declan Rice. We, we looked at him before the game. It was interesting to listen to the manager before the game. He mentioned his role would be slightly different. It was a great pass. And we're talking about him getting more goals and assists. He's very unlucky not to get on the goal, uh, the score sheet last week. Hasn't got an assist there. But I think he's been the best player on the pitch. But he has had a slightly different role. He's been a lot more deeper. Maybe the role we normally associate with him with England and West Ham when he's getting the ball off the back paw. And maybe that's something to do with the fact of maybe Eze, Crystal Palace on the counter-attack. He hasn't been as adventurous. But the one time he was, Arsenal should be one of. What have you made of Palace? Look, we, we knew they were going to struggle a little bit. Uh, they've only had 32% of the ball. We knew that they would have to probably win this game through a little bit of poor finishing, a bit of luck, good goalkeeping, obviously robust defending. And then in Eze, they've got a player who... He's had three shots in that first half. They might just get something. So I said before the game, stay in the game. That's the name of the game when you're playing against these big clubs. We saw a good example of it yesterday with West Ham, where I think Chelsea were really good in parts of the game. But then they were hung in there and they get the moments. I think that'll be Roy Hodgson half-time saying, look, keep it like this. Don't worry about it. You're going to have to obviously come, you know, put up with quite a lot of pressure in the second half. But he'll be reasonably happy because Arsenal have had a couple of really good chances.